Meter Master H&G Pump Usage Tutorial Produced by Tremco Commercial Sealants and Waterproofing This video will walk you through proper setup and maintenance of the Meter Master H&G Pump for use with Tremco's two-part structural silicone sealant ProGlaze 2. Before using this pump, please read through the owner's manual created by the manufacturer H&G Industries International, Inc. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and heed all of the warning labels on the pump. Step 1. Attach the air supply hose to the pump. Step 2. Pull the air supply hose valve out so it's in the on position. Step 3. Attach a new static mixer to the gun. Note that this should be done on a daily basis. Unscrew the metal sleeve and remove the old static mixer. Insert a new static mixer into the metal sleeve and reattach the sleeve to the gun. Step four, turn the catalyst valve to the on position. It should be parallel with the catalyst line. Step five, Pull the trigger on the gun, allowing the dispensed material to flow into a waste receptacle until the color appears homogenous. There should not be any streaks in the material. Step 6. Check the catalyst pressure gauges, the two gauges on the left side of the pump. During operation, the catalyst gauges must be running within 200 to 300 PSI of each other. In the event that they are not running within 200 to 300 PSI of each other, use the left catalyst valve regulator to balance them. Step 7. If needed, adjust the material flow rate by turning the Part A base pressure regulator. Turn the left Part B catalyst pressure regulator until both catalyst pressure gauges are running within 200 to 300 PSI of each other. Quality control tests should be performed to confirm a proper mix ratio and pump accuracy. Test 1. Butterfly test. Perform a butterfly test to verify a thorough mix has been achieved. To verify a proper mix of base and curing agent, this test will be performed at the start of each day and any time the machine is idle for an extended period of time. If the butterfly test shows no evidence of streaking and the sealant is uniform in color, a thorough mix has been achieved and you may proceed with the snap test. Do not proceed with further testing and sample preparation if there is evidence of streaking or if an inconsistent color exists. This indicates a thorough mix has not been achieved. Instead, dispense additional sealant and repeat the test. If there is still evidence of streaking or if an inconsistent color exists, some adjustments, repairs, should be performed on the static mixer area of the dispensing equipment. Such efforts should continue until a thorough mix is achieved. The butterfly test cannot be used by itself to confirm that the material is properly mixed, but should be used in conjunction with the other tests described in this video and in the Tremco Structural Glazing Procedures Guide. Test 2. Snap Time Test. Once the butterfly test confirms a uniform color, perform a snap time test to determine the cure rate of the mixed sealant. Snap time is achieved when the sealant breaks after lifting the stick one half to one inch or 13 to 25 millimeters above the surface of the sealant in the container. The snapped sealant will act like a broken rubber band. In other words, both ends will snap in opposite directions. Care should be taken to avoid further mixing or shearing of the sealant during the snap time testing. This will affect the snap time result. If any major discrepancy in the snap time value is noted, contact your Tremco representative immediately. Test 3. Snake Test. 
Perform a snake test. Allow the sealant to cure for 24 hours. Check shore A at each of the meter change locations and pump directional changes and record in the logbook. Variations can occur, so record softer shore A readings at each of these changeover locations. Uniform shore A is less than five points from norm at soft spot locations. The goal is uniform shore A after 72 hours. Step-by-step -step instructions for performing butterfly, snap time, and snake tests can be found in the Tremco Structural Glazing Procedures Manual on our website at www.tremcosealants.com. All test results, desired or undesired, must be recorded and dated in the Quality Assurance Logbook. A copy of this logbook can also be found in the Structural Glazing Procedures Manual and on the Forms page in the Commercial Glazing section of our website. Ensure the material is base purged when the pump is not in use, such as break times, lunch time, or any time the Meter Master H&G is sitting idle for more than five minutes. This is done by turning off the catalyst valve and then purging the material out of the gun until the color is a homogeneous white, which indicates the catalyst has been purged out of the static mixer. Base and catalyst changeouts follow the same process at their different respective locations. Step one, first, push the ram control lever up into a vertical position. Simultaneously, open the air blow-off valve until the pressure plate rises above the material container. Step two, remove the empty base drum or catalyst pail. Step three, for the base material, open the new 55 gallon drum and remove the plastic sheet covering the base and discard. Fold the plastic drum liner over the drum edges and tape the liner all the way around the drum, carefully securing the plastic liner. Then center the new drum of material under the pressure plate. For catalyst, remove the lid of the five gallon bucket and center the new drum of material under the pressure plate. Step four, open the bleed valve on the top of the pressure plate. Using a skinny metal object, such as a wire coat hanger, welding rod, or screwdriver, Clear the hole of excess material. Then lower the pressure plate by putting the lever in the down position. After the plate has made contact with the top of the drum, use the skinny metal object to continue clearing the hole of excess material until all the air is bled out. Then close the bleed valve. Step five, change out the static mixer. Step six, press the gun trigger dispensing material until a thorough mix is achieved, so that the sealant is a homogeneous color with no streaking, and then perform a butterfly test and snap time test. If the test results are good, proceed with production. If you have any questions or require additional assistance, please consult Tremco's Structural Glazing Procedures Manual on our website at www.tremcosealants.com or contact your local Tremco sales representative. For contact information, consult the distributor rep locator on our website.